said I'm using a 410 brass case that I made from a 303 British shell. So I made this 410 um, brass case from a 303 British shell and I did that by fire forming. Now fire forming is, I'm going to do this real simply right here at the range. So the first step a few of these already finished but first thing you're going to do is just anneal the brass because if I just try to fire form this directly it's probably just going to split the case oh my light is not going again alright so you want to anneal the case you want to get it good and hot good and hot nice and even and then let it cool down This case has already been um, defined, even had a little bit of polishing. So. There you go. That case is now annealed. So I'm going to let that one cool down. So the uh, that's cooled down now. What I'm going to do is go inside and um, put another large rifle primer in there using my um, single stage press. And um, that's ready to go. Here's one that I've already done that with. So I've reprimed it. I'm going to put this is about 30 grains. Of, uh, you want a fairly fast, a small amount of a fairly fast powder, and this is um, triple seven. And then you're going to want to get a nice wad in there. Let's do that. And here I'm just using a piece of shop towel. Um, if uh, fire is a concern, maybe this isn't the best stuff to use because it does come out smoking not downright burning. Oh, legs cramping up. Plenty of room in there, but I'm just having trouble getting it past the neck. There we go. All right, so I've got the wad in there. I do. You probably don't need to put a, a bullet in there, but I put that in just to give it a little bit more weight to hopefully build up more pressure. You know, to better expand the case. So once I've done, I've got two done there stuff behind me and we'll see how it works Hearing 
protection on. So, just gonna slide it in there. Voila, 410 shell, fire formed. So why, oh, bullet just fell out. Why would you bother doing this? A uh, couple of reasons. One is, uh, shoot that up a bit. Two 410 shells ready to go. So I'll keep doing that. All right, why would you do this? A couple of reasons. Um, they use this fire forming a lot in their wild catting, which is you know basically experimenting with different uh, styles of cases, um, seeing you know basically developing new cartridges, new new cases, new cartridges. Um, so this is one thing that's one tool that's used in that. The other thing uh, in like availability of certain things like 410 brass case, I know I can go on, um, you know, order them off the internet, I know that, but that's not, probably not something you're going to find in your local gun store, maybe, maybe not, but um, uh, back in the, uh, when I was a lot younger, um, a lot of military surplus um, Lee Enfields were actually chambered they were taken from um, 303 British and they were bored out to a 410 sporting rifle um, yeah, so anyway there was a lot of surplus 303 around so it would only made sense to you know, turn them into something more useful um, and yeah anytime I need 410 cartridge, a 410 uh, brass case. I can get some of my old 303 and fire form it up and hey presto, I got another case.